Hello and welcome to an unboxing and review of the 20th anniversary Digimon Originals Digivice. At least, I think that's what it's called. Um, I've had a look around on the internet and stuff and honestly I can't find a ton of information on this thing. As far as I can tell it's a remake of the original Digivice obviously. As you can tell with all the like branding and stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong though, because um, as I mentioned, I just kind of pre-ordered this because it looked really cool, basically. And I'm a big sucker of Digi for Digimon, and I've kind of been going through a Digimon phase at the moment, to be honest. Um, I've started, well, I've almost finished watching Tamers, so um, I thought, well, now's the perfect time to really get into it. So. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is this video will be kind of in two parts. I'm going to be doing in the unboxing, obviously, and having a look. But as it's a virtual pet, I'm not going to be able to give much of a first impression or a review after using it for a couple minutes. So um, the the second half of the video is going to be like a short diary thing for the next week or something as I kind of, you know, train my Digimon and grow it and stuff. Because as the packaging says here, Digimon is the digital monster that you train for action. And yeah, I've got to say, the, the packaging is fantastic. Now, another thing I tried to look up, I tried to look up the original packaging for like the Western release of the Digi Digivice. Um, and I, I couldn't find anything. The only pictures I could find was of this, obviously. So I want to say it's kind of similar to the original. I feel like I remember seeing that kind of typeface before, years and years ago, when they like first released Digimon stuff. But I could be wrong, and it could just be, you know, my mind trying to convince me of that. Anyway, on the side, we've also got the, the cool sort of, um, the, the type font and stuff. That's the back, that's the side, and the front there. And on the back here, at the very top, you'll see this, this says, this is from the makers of Tamagotchi, Bandai specifically. Uh, obviously, if you've ever played a Digimon game, you'll know it's by Bandai. Um... Now, yeah, so an interesting thing. Now, with Tamagotchi, uh, chances are, if you're watching this video, you've probably either already had one of these or Tamagotchi in your life. I actually have never had a virtual pet um, at all. They were big when I was younger. Um, I, I grew up in the 90s, but um, I don't know. I just never got around to getting one, really. So for me, this is actually quite a um, new experience. Now, I did download um, a kind of app on my phone that kind of... Um, emulated uh, these things, but I don't know, I just never really got into it. Anyway, um, we're going to take a look at the back quickly. So um, it says there, Raids Train Battle. And um, as you can read there, basically they've got a dock and rock feature, uh, which is these little prong things here. You attach them to another um, Digivice and kind of battle them. Because the thing that sets these apart from Tamagotchi is that Digimon are kind of primarily fighting creatures, obviously. If you've ever seen the show, you'll know that. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it's pretty cool. Now, I did read somewhere, it's not quite as care-intensive as Tamagotchi, which I'm looking forward to, because I did hear horror stories of people waking up at, like, three in the morning to feed their virtual pet and stuff. Uh, and at the back, as you can see, unfortunately, I've had to rip off a lot of this label here, because it was covering a ton of information, but... We'll quickly go through that a lot of these like symbols will um, help you. So I think you navigate with those and the middle is the select or whatever. So we have things like feed, status, light, medical attention, train, single digivice battle, flush, alert, two digivice battle, which is the dock and rock feature. And that is the, the not one of the bits of information. So yeah, um, it's a fairly straightforward thing obviously I mean this came out in the 90s it's a Tamagotchi basically for want of a better word um, so I'm gonna crack this open now and we'll actually take a look I'm quite excited because I've never seen one of these up close in real life uh, right so I'll be right back all right so the package comes as follows you've got your uh, digivice in a clear plastic thing now i went for the translucent green and orange as you can see um although i'm not sure how translucent it is i guess we'll find that out when we open it up uh, and also a booklet which is incredibly handy actually because i think this might tell us a little bit more about the product now i don't know what digimon is on the front there that genuinely doesn't ring a bell to me. I don't know, is he like a Mega or something you can get on this Digivice? So I know they did add two um, Digimon into this 
I want to say Apollomon and Coronamon, I think, are the two. I could be wrong about those. If I am, I'll put her in the um, bottom there. But there is a hint that this is the 20th anniversary, because it says 20 there. Anyway, I'm going to be really boring now and have a quick flip through here before I start this up, just so I'm not missing anything. All right, I'm back, and I've had a read of that. Um, it covers everything really well, actually, so I feel like I understand everything now, so it's time to crack this open. Now, from what I can tell, this is known as the 20th anniversary Digivice. I know there was another 20th anniversary kind of thing, um, Digivice as well, so I don't know exactly. Oh, wow, this is, this is bulkier than I thought it would be, actually. Um, so as you can see here, uh, that is button A, uh, A, B, and C. I believe it's meant to be held this way. Anyway, it could be wrong. Uh, and on the back, we have... Ah, that's the translucent, translucency. Cool. So that is the dock and rock feature, where obviously, um, if I had another one, I'd put on top. I have kind of been tempted to maybe buy another colour one. I don't know yet. Um, and yeah, that's the little screen there where the Digimon will appear. And on the top and bottom as well, the status things will be... And at the back, that is the translucent part, because we can see the cell battery. So, um, there's not much more to do, really, uh, than pull this out. And I believe within a minute, we'll hatch the Digi-Egg. So, let's... I'm going to try and get this on camera. I really do apologise if you guys can't see it, but hopefully... Here we go. Hey, Digimon 20th. Look at that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I think, maybe. Fantastic. Now, I think I need to enter my name. Ah, I do. Right, I'll be right back. All right, I have entered my name, I think. Okay, yes. Oh, wait, I've got to set the time as well. BRB. Okay, sorry, I've set the uh, time and stuff. And <gasps> what's this? An egg has appeared. Oh, honestly, this is actually quite exciting now. Um... Yeah, after after years of kind of watching the Digimon movie and seeing um, the egg appear that turned into Diaboromon, I don't know. I've I've always really wanted one of these. Um, they, they they're odd as well, Digivices. In that, like when they release, they're decently priced. But if you want to get them like any time later on, they they really jump in price. There are some like Digivices now that are like seventy or eighty pounds. Um, I mean, it might be that they're slightly different or something, and maybe these are intentionally meant to be quite cheap. Because uh, I know Bandai have gone through a phase recently of kind of releasing Tamagotchis, like re-releasing the originals. Oh, it is time. What will it be? It's a Botamon! I think it's a Botamon, anyway. Do I... Do I press? No, okay, cool. What are you? Hello, Bortamon. I think you're Bortamon anyway. R right. Cool. Um, also, it says 0.31 as if it's midnight, but it is just 12 o'clock regular. Um, right, I'm not sure where I go from here. Hello, Bortamon. Ah. Right, okay. It's info I want, isn't it, I think. Wait, BRB. There we go. It is indeed Bortamon. Nice. Uh, and I believe after like a few minutes or something, um, he will digivolve. Now, another thing that I didn't realise, but you can get two Digimon in this, which is pretty cool. So, okay. Uh, oh, I see. Right. Cool. There we are. So, uh, so I will say this is actually quite intuitive to use if that makes sense so this is the select button that is the um scroll button as it were and that's return to home button so i believe there we go yeah so if you press the enter button when nothing is selected on the home screen you get taken to um the time basically and i'm not too sure what the arrows signify but if i do know i'll i'll write at the bottom of the screen here there's botamon just chilling um and yeah there's not a ton you can kind of do at the moment that's botamon uh just gonna ah there we are so that's his age maybe um 
Presumably. Nice. Oh, he's, he's hungry. Um, okay, that is effort. That is DP. Uh, Win. obviously, he, he can't fight yet because he's still in training. So, let's give him some food, I think. That's not food. Which is food? Uh, is that food? Yes. Ah, right, okay, so you get food or protein. Now, apparently, food fills one bar, and protein you need to fill four to fill one bar, I think. So, hey, there we are. He has eaten some f food. Um, I'll give him some protein as well. Now, apparently, too much protein is banned for Digimon. So, ah, and that is some poop. So, we go there, and wash it away. Hey! <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I'm I'm really digging this. This is such a simple little thing, I know, but um, yeah, I'm kind of just I'm 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 learning, obviously. Now, as I mentioned, that that basically wraps it up for the review, as it were. I've I've given it a little test drive. As I said, it's quite a hefty little thing. Um, it's not like heavy, but it's heavier than you'd think, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of how it compares the original Digivice, I could not tell you guys. I never had an original one. This is literally my first one. However, I am mildly tempted now to keep an eye out for other releases because I know like Japan has releases like the X antibody ones or whatever. Um, and I know there's a obviously there's a new series out at the moment, um, like a remake of Digimon Adventure or something. I haven't actually jumped on it yet because I'm finishing up Tamers, but. Hopefully, if there's ones in the future, this is genuinely like I've, I've actually had more fun than I anticipated here. Now, also, um, there are different functions. So, for example, there's bedtime. And it is um, it is recommended in the manual, actually, that if you're not going to be around for a couple hours, it's worth maybe chucking them in bed. But they don't gain XP as quickly during sleep, obviously, which makes sense. Because otherwise, you could just put it to sleep and suddenly have a mega within like a day or two. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not fully sure about this. I don't think I'd ever keep this on like a keychain or whatever, but um, you know, ah, there we are. And after a little bit of inactivity, as I uh, imagined, it kind of goes blank and then obviously press the middle button again and there's bottom on. Oh. I don't know what that means. Um, cool. Okay, I'm not sure what that was then. Maybe that was um, the kind of loading up sound. I don't fully know. Um, anyway, I'm glad to say that the camera is picking up this screen decently well now. So what I'm going to try and do, as I mentioned, is maybe have a bit of a like diary kind of update thing. So, um, you know, the point of a virtual pet is you live with it, basically. You know, you take care of it over several days. So that's what I'm going to do. So if if you just want to see what the product was like, you know, free, feel free to, like, click off now, wherever. Thank you very much for watching, obviously. If you do want to stick around, though, I'll give you small updates of what my Botamon digivolves into, how I found it, how I've kind of been keeping, you know, care of it and stuff. Hopefully I'll get a, like, battle more and stuff as well. So, oh, hello. It's taking a poop. It's time to clean up another poop. Um, so yeah, so um, basically, you know, I'll, I'll I'll be taking care of it. So stay tuned. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. Although for me, it'll be several hours slash days. Okay, I'm back. That, that was really quick, actually. Uh, Botamon has digivolved into Coromon. There's also a very cute uh, sound effect playing during it, so... There he is, just chilling about and stuff. I'm going to feed him and train him a little bit. Um, also, something I'd like to point out, actually, which is super cool. I'll try and get him in focus. So these are the following Digivices that will connect to this Digivice, uh, which includes the Digital Monster Digivice from 1997. This has compatibility with a ton of them, actually. There's the Digimon version 15th anniversary, the D3 Digivice of version, um, you know, 15th anniversary, and the 20th Digivice, 20th anniversary uh, thing. So, like, honestly, massive kudos there. That is crazy. That, like, 
you you can you can still battle and stuff. I mean, obviously, I think you'd have had to have replaced the battery quite a few times. We can actually battle this new one with like an original Digivice from '97. That is insane. Um, anyway, yeah. So I've just had a look as well, and they do actually give you a bit of a chart. So there's Infancy one and two, um, and basically Infancy obviously is what you get straight away from the egg. Infancy two takes ten minutes. Um, and then to evolve, Digivolve to Rookie, obviously, is um, six hours. So that's going to be a while. Um, I, I don't think these are all the Digimon, because actually that's something I forgot to mention as well. At the back here... Oh, there's an alert going on. Um, at the back here, we actually see um, a kind of list of all the basic... Uh, well, I think these are Champion, because there's Merimon, there's Greymon, there's Seedramon, uh, Numemon. So... I, you know, I, I think it's more than just that was shown there, but um, that's pretty exciting as well. Now, I remember playing Digimon World 1, and if you raise the Digimon badly, you got to Numemon. So, I, I'm guessing that was going to happen in this game as well, because obviously World Digimon World was just a console version of this, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go check on what that alert was. Guess who's pooped again? It's Koromon. Um, although this is very in keeping with Koromon from the uh, first part of the Digimon movie, or um, whatever it's called in Japanese, but the one where Tai first meets a Digimon, and it's Koromon and turns into Greymon, but it's not the same one. Anyway, I'm going to feed him a little bit more. Hey, there we are. I'll feed him another one as well, because why not? There we go. Uh, also, I'm going to look into maybe training him. Just had to double check that was training. Uh, oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. Yeah, he destroyed the, the wall. Nice. Well done. Hey, there we are. That's cool. Okay, I didn't realise he could train. Um, I'll go train again then, because I think when the alert thing um, pops up, you've got to hit be lords or something like really hard I think did I no I didn't destroy it at all wait he seems happy though that's cool okay um, let's go check his status quickly yeah so that's his um, age and his weight I think or something uh, so Okay, he's not too hungry, he's not that strong, he's not that... So effort, I think, uh, builds the more you train. Let me just double check something. Alright, I got it wrong. Um, training, you actually hit the A button, not the B button repeatedly when the alert thing... There we... Ah, there we go, look! Look at this. Will the wall be destroyed? Oh, yes! Well done, Koromon. So I think if I do one more, maybe his effort goes up, I think. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Got it. Admittedly, you know, this isn't like the deepest uh, mini game or anything, but... Hey, there we go. Cool. It's just demolished again. He's happy. He's a good boy. Um, I think if we check his effort now, maybe it's gone up. Unless it doesn't count because the other's things didn't... Oh! Oh, wow, he's lost weight. He's lost quite a bit of weight. Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. His strength is like... Yay, and his effort's won. Nice. So I'm going to give him a bit of food. Give him a bit of protein, maybe. Maybe that'll boost his strength. I don't know. Uh, and some meat. There we go. Uh... Does that instantly gain him some weight? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, okay, he's gained three whatever that is meant to be. Um, so I'm guessing the E in age will be days, maybe? Not sure, so he's not... Oh, okay, he's, he's full of strength. Uh, his, so I don't think they gain DP until they're rookie, because uh, that is like digital points or something. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of leave him chill for a bit, I think. And if there's an alert, I'll go and clean, clean his poop. Um, but he'll probably be digivolving uh, in about six hours or something. So I'll try and video that. 
Uh, sorry this is a bit rambly, this is probably going to be quite a long video or whatever, but you know, it's, it's a kind of chill diary thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in six hours. Alright, so, bit of a uh, update. Uh, let's just clear this away. So, um, Coromon has uh, digivolved, as you can see, uh, into a can. Betamon, that's it. Hey, look at him, he is one day old, he weighs 20. Ooh, he's very hungry, very strong. Damn. Oh, okay then. Um, I have a lot to do here, so let's give him some food quickly. Good boy. Um, but also, excitingly, I'll get back to that in a second. If I press this... What's this? It's an egg! Um, yeah, so when, when it gets to a uh, rookie, believe you unlock an egg so I think you press these two wait no hang on is it uh, ah hang on oh oh I didn't press both of them at the same time okay right fair enough I should have ah yeah okay Cool. Well, that will hatch in like a minute, I think, isn't it? So, I'll scroll back over to Betamon for a second. Give him some more food. Um, yeah, and obviously there's lots of Digivolution lines and stuff. Um, and I, I think it like depends. So, for example, his effort had gone up quite a bit. So, maybe if I'd like got it full maxed effort, maybe he'd have been a different Digimon. I'm not sure. Um, right, I'm going to scroll back over to the egg for a second. Um, you know, I'm I'm happy with the default egg anyway. I don't know I don't know exactly how many different eggs there are. Um, oh, okay, that's just oh, hey, it's hatching. There we go. Hey, it's a Botamon. Uh, that is Botamon, isn't it? I think. Yay. Fantastic. Uh, let's check. Yeah, that is Botamon. He is five pounds. He's a hungry boy. He's got a lot. So I'll give him some food. Now, I think you can scroll it so they're both on the screen. Hang on. Let's have a look. Uh, oh. No, maybe not then. Ah, there we are, yeah, there we go. Um, Botamon's not very clear, because he's a small blob. Hey, they're hanging out together. What happens if I try to feed on this screen, then? Oh, oh, they both eat. Oh, yo, that's cool. Okay, that's a big piece of meat as well. Also give them both a bit of protein. Poo, that is a uncomfortably large... Uh, pill. Anyway, right, I'm gonna go, you know, keep these fed and stuff. Hopefully, Botamon will evolve in, uh, digivolve into Coromon. Uh, might experiment a bit. I might max out Coromon's um, effort and everything and keep him well fed, see if I get someone different. I'm very happy with Betamon. I really love Betamon. So, yeah, there we go. Cool. I'll um, update you guys when something big happens again. All right then, a uh, bit of an update. Betamon is doing well. I've not really interacted too much with the game today because I've been busy, but um, the other egg, Botamon, did uh, digivolve into Coromon, who then digivolved into Agumon. Hey, let's take a look at him. There he is there. He's 23 pounds. Oh, and, oh, damn, yeah, they, they both need a little bit of training, I think. So uh, I'm going to... Activate the double screen there. Uh, give him a bit of food first, I think. Chomp down on that. And we'll do a little bit of training. Um, I'd like to get their effort value quite high. Ah, now, so this is an interesting one. So you choose either low or high, I think. And I, I think I'm Agumon at the moment. Um... After doing this a few times, I think uh, it'll show who won. Three versus three, and Agumon won. Yay! I think that's good. I don't know. Um, let's also give him some of his own training, maybe. There we go. 
Let's see what his attack is like. Now also, I think he's strong enough to... Oh, damn. Yeah, that was that was pretty darn good, Agumon. Well done. Uh, I'm going to try and jump into a battle in a second, actually. Let's do... Let's do training one... Oh, wait. Wrong button. Let's do train... No, hang on. I've gone one too far. Let's... Do one more and then maybe go into a battle, see what that's like, see what Digimon we face. Hey, there we are. Right, I've not done this before. I hope I don't end up like losing Agumon or something if he loses. I don't think he will. Single. Um, yeah, Agumon, let's go. Uh, start. Oh, oh dear, he's against like. A Greymon or something, was it? Or I hope it's not Metal Greymon, because I can't quite... Oh, oh, is that Wormmon, actually? That might be Wormmon. Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, there we are, that hit. I can't tell who that is. I want to say it's Wormmon because of the body, but the, the head doesn't look right, does it? Uh, I don't know, it could be, actually. Is that Wormmon? I genuinely can't tell. Um, let me know in the description. So this goes on auto battle. Hey! Oh, okay, cool. I won. Fantastic. Hey! Well done, Agumon. Let's check uh, his stats quickly then before we go. A little bit hungry. Ooh, he's full strength. Okay, he needs to do some more training. His DP is full. He's got a 100% win ratio, which isn't that impressive, because he's only fought one Digimon, but that's pretty cool. Let's give him some food then. Um, right, that about wraps it up, so fingers crossed, maybe in the next day or two, they might Digivolve again. Um, Agumon Digivolved a lot quicker than Betamon, actually. So, um, Betamon didn't Digivolve till this morning, but I did notice, actually, I'd set my um, clock wrong. So, as you can see now, it's um, coming up to 6pm, and I'd got the PM and AM mixed up, so yesterday, when I was playing a lot of it, like 7 or whatever, or 8, um, it was coming up as 8am, or whatever, um, and once I set it to 11pm last night, when I realised my error, they immediately went to sleep, and I know they don't digivolve when they sleep, so... That might have been it, I don't know, but we'll see anyway, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Fingers crossed we get at least one Digivolution tomorrow. I like a Seedramon, I think Betamon Digivolves in a Seedramon, that's one of his paths anyway, I think. Um, yeah, that wraps it up, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so, kind of big news. Um, I heard the, um, the alert sound just now, and it looks like Betamon has Digivolved into Airdramon. Which is very cool. Um, wasn't expecting him. I was expecting Seedramon. Um, and yeah, so he's, he's quite hungry. He's obviously... I think everything is reset. Uh, he's got a 100% win ratio, which is pretty cool. Um, and obviously he's chilling with Agumon there. Who's doing well as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a bit of food. Uh, that's food, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's... Um, it's the end of the third day now, so presumably maybe Hagumon will Digivolve tomorrow or something. Um, I've been chucking them into battle with a couple Digimon. Uh, Agumon lost one, I think, or yeah, I think it was just one, I can't remember. But, um, you know, they, they've been doing well. I have been mostly focusing on Betamon. I've kind of been throwing Agumon more into battle and just taking care of Betamon. Uh, let's do a training between them, shall we? Uh, yay, so I I think I'm playing Agumon, I presume so, yeah, oh, collision there, let's go up again, yeah, I think Agumon's won this, oh, okay, ah, oh, 3v2, so, hey, okay, cool, Agumon won that one, and, uh, yeah, so, Edramon is obviously a champion level Digimon, um, this is also their bedtime I appreciate, because I think 8pm is when they go to bed. So I'm going to quickly do a little bit of training with Edramon. 
just want to see what his attack looks like. It's probably not going to look much different. Ooh, he's got like missiles or something. That's cool. Okay. Hey, there we are. He has succeeded there. So yeah, um, cool. I'll show you guys um, if and when Agumon digivolves. Hopefully Greymon, that would be cool. But he can digivolve to Tyrannomon as well, I believe. I quite like the Tyrannomon. I mean, I you know, th this is my first thing with it, so I don't have any massive expectations. But I'm going to put them both to bed. Hang on. Uh, which is bed? That's bed, isn't it? Sleep. Yay, they're both snuggled up in their bed together. I don't know how Aedromon uh, is the same size as Agumon, but whatever. But yeah, well, good night, and I'll see you guys when Agumon digivolves. Or maybe Aedromon does. Probably Agumon, though. Alright, so I just got a digivolution sound. Is everyone ready to see what my Agumon has digivolved into? Yes, that's right. I have a new Memon. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that happened. I think Numemon's meant to be a bit of a punishment to a bad um, trainer, but I don't understand exactly what I did wrong there. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm sure he's cool as well. Numemon is no one's favourite Digimon, but hey, I got Aedromon, which I'm pretty darn uh, pleased with. So, like, that that is both of the boys. Um, oh, okay. Well, he's just pooed. I mean, I did clean up the poop whenever I needed to. I don't think any of them got uh, ill, like because there was too much. Well, I mean, they did get ill, but I think that's natural. But I cured them, and Agumon battled tons and stuff. So I don't know exactly why he's a new Memon now. But that about wraps up my video diary of this, I think. Um, I, I might end up sort of getting to Ultimate. Uh, that would be very cool. Um, but if I do that, I'll probably post on Twitter. So if you check below in the description, I'll have linked my Twitter, which is where I post like random pictures and stuff, along with my Instagram, but I don't post as much on Instagram. So, you know, if you want to check out that, you might be able to see what Numemon and Edromon did evolve into eventually, if they did evolve at all, which they probably will. Um, I don't even know what Numemon can did evolve into. I know he can go to, like, Platinum Numemon, can't he, I think? He's, like, Platinum version of himself. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, let's end on a high note. Thank you, Numemon. Very cool. Thank you.